So it took our theater a little while to get this, but I finally got around to seeing Marcel the Shell with Shoes On, which is based on a series of shorts from Jenny Slate and director Dean Fleischer Camp, and I did more or less go into this cold. I had seen the trailer a few times, but I was unfamiliar with the shorts that it's based on. Regardless of that, though, it doesn't take long to get wrapped up in this very, very charming movie. The film is done like a mockumentary, where Fleischer Camp plays himself, who is doing a documentary on Marcel, a talking shell who, yes, wears shoes. What starts out as a documentary just about Marcel's life inside of this Airbnb turns into a much larger story of him trying to find out what happened to his family when they ended up in a sock drawer from someone who moved out. I like that the documentarian and Marcel do get to know each other quite a bit throughout the making of it. And it begins just about Marcel, but you pick up on a lot of information about what's going on in Dean's life, too, as he opens up a little bit more while still keeping the story primarily focused on Marcel. Even the viral shorts are worked into it, as Marcel becomes an internet celebrity once they're uploaded to YouTube, and everything instantly becomes a headache for him. People start showing up outside on his lawn, no one is really helping him find his family, and it gets to where he doesn't even want to do a 60 Minutes interview, because he's like, I'm just so tired, I just want to take care of my grandma. It does a good job of showing how Marcel is wildly unaware of how big the world is around him. With Isabella Rossellini voicing his grandma, there's a funny line where he says, My grandma has an accent because she came from the garage and traveled here via pocket. When they go on a road trip to find clues, he thinks that because they're looking for a specific car, any car on the road might be the right one. There's also a lot of drama that goes on in the background, like an arguing couple who have broken up, and Marcel only has the loosest of understandings about it. As you can tell, there's certainly a lot of heart to it. And there is one particular thing that you know is going to be a really sad scene, and you're just waiting for it to happen. But of course, there's good laughs in it, too. I love the insects. They got some of the biggest laughs out of me. They don't talk, they don't do anything outside of what a bug would normally do, but the movie gets very funny reaction shots and physical comedy out of them. That's another thing. Damn, I was impressed by the effects in this. With the blending of stop motion and live action, there were many moments where I was like, shit, how did they get this shot? I dig the movie a lot. It's hard not to find it extremely likable. There are scenes that can be a little repetitive, sometimes padded. I would wonder when the story would start moving forward a little bit, and it does have a few different ending points and goes on a little past what felt like the conclusion. And given how Phil Collins' Take Me Home was used so well in the trailer, I wish it was in the actual movie. But it's a very high B+. It's perfect for families to go see. And given that it is a family film, it may be the first A24 movie I saw that didn't have trailers for other A24 movies in front of it. There weren't any trailers for Bodies, 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 or Pearl. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and stay tuned, because we'll have a review coming up for The League of Super Pets, and we'll see you then.